sports have never been as popular in Japan as they have become in the last few years. Tennis and jogging and the like are recent imports, but there are sports older and more typically Japanese that have an important place of their own in the culture. They're known as martial arts. In this film, we're going to take a look at some of the representative martial arts and see what makes them different. Probably the best known of the martial arts is judo, a sport recognized in Olympic competition since 1964. Not far from the Imperial Palace in the heart of Tokyo is a building called the Budokan. Music lovers know the Budokan as a concert hall, but in fact it was built as a training center for the martial arts and a hall for exhibitions and competition. A martial arts gymnasium is called a dojo. The Budokan houses a number of dojos. This one is for judo practice. Practice sessions and competitions in judo are held on a floor of mats called tatami, with springs underneath for cushioning. Safety falls are an important part of judo practice for beginners and veterans alike to develop proper form and prevent injuries. Another basic exercise called uchikomi to develop the technique of executing a throw. Judoists practice this over and over again until the movements of arms and hips and feet become automatic. Here an instructor demonstrates a hip throw. Movements in judo are judged not only on effectiveness but on correctness of form. After the demonstration, free practice, one-to-one. -one. As a rule, when there are novices in the class, they practice with the instructor or with a more advanced student. A special feature of all the martial arts is their formal etiquette. Training sessions and competitions all begin and end with a bow of respect. Aside from the thick jacket, belt, and trousers, judo requires no special equipment. What the judoist uses is his opponent's strength, turning it to his own advantage. The smaller player is under no particular handicap. The heart of the matter is the rational use of one's energy. The bags they're carrying tell us that these youngsters are on their way to practice still another martial art called kendo, Japanese fencing. In the long thin bag is a bamboo sword called a shinai. Stuffed in the other is a set of protective equipment. Before a practice session, kendo students sit quietly in formal position with their eyes tightly closed to gather calm and concentration. Japanese children today grow up with Western-style furniture. It's not easy for them to sit on their heels on a hard wooden floor. The basic kendo movement is the sliding step practiced over and over to develop good balance and coordination.
The shout that goes with this movement is intended to focus the energy for a spirited attack. The kendo sword is made of strips of bamboo bound together. For the next stage of practice, the students put on their protective equipment, beginning with a cloth wrapped around the head to serve as a sweatband and padding for the helmet. Next, the helmet itself. The bindings look easy, but they're tricky for small fingers to manage. Next, the padded gloves, called kote. Kendo is a fast-moving sport that calls for steady nerves and quick reflexes as the players attack and defend themselves against a variety of strikes and thrusts. In kendo, the most effective attacks are against specific points on the opponent's armor. Points are awarded in competition primarily for hits on the mask, chest plate, and wrists. As in all the martial arts, the younger players learn by watching first and imitating the models that older players and teachers provide. Traditionally, the martial arts were almost exclusively sports for men, but in recent times, women are also taking an increasingly active part. Karate, literally the empty hand. The basic elements of karate are attacks with the naked hands and feet and the defenses against them. As with judo, karate techniques are rooted in a number of basic forms or movements called kata. In karate, however, these kata can be practiced and performed without a partner. Unlike in other martial arts, the forms in karate tend to be in sharp angles and straight lines. These movements can look like pure choreography, but done properly, they develop remarkable speed and power. Karate has become especially popular recently with women, not only as a means of self-defense, but as a sport that builds strength and improves the figure. We can see in this demonstration match why karate now has such an enthusiastic following all over the world.
6.30 on a January morning, the kind of early winter morning in Japan when the chill goes straight to the bone. What brings this group of people out at that early hour is a martial art called Aikido. Warming up exercises in Aikido are a little unusual. Aikido is one of the newest of the martial arts. The head of the central dojo here in Tokyo, who often teaches the morning session, is the son of the man who founded the sport in the 1930s. Unlike karate, the emphasis in Aikido is on defense. The movements, too, are different, smooth and free-flowing. Aikido movements are supposed to be logical and unforced, every technique conforming to the laws of nature. The result is this fluid, graceful style. Most of the techniques in Aikido are throws and holds, but unlike Judo, the two players do not grapple or wrestle. The essential art is in moving to meet an attack and throwing your opponent with a minimum of effort. Most of the throws begin with a hold applied to a weak point on the attacker's wrist. There are no competition matches in Aikido. The goal is to develop one's own mind and body. With that training comes a greater ability to protect oneself from violence and from the unexpected hazards of everyday life. We've taken a look at the major examples of the martial arts, a group of sports Japanese in origin that have grown worldwide in their popularity. In the process, they have shed the image they once had as mere techniques of hand-to-hand -hand combat and become better understood as forms of physical and spiritual discipline. More than that, the martial arts have come to serve Japan and the world as a medium of cultural exchange.